Last year, a hundred million people tuned in live to Miss World. More viewers than for the moon landings or the World Cup final. Beautiful, darling. Mum, don't. You and your sisters used to love playing Miss World. We also like to eat our own snot. They must have no defects. And if they're not pretty much 36, 24, 36, come on, the curves won't be in the right places. But we really believe beauty isn't just skin deep. The girls also get marks on charm, grace, deportment. Swimsuits. Miss World rehearsals are underway. Alphabetical order, come on, Yugoslavia. What are you doing up here? That's A. <laughs> I'm the first black South African to take part. I'm the first Miss Grenada. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Hope. The last time Bob guested on this show, he brought the winning girl home with him. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning oppression into spectacle. Let's make a spectacle of our own. We'd infiltrate the theater. We've just been smoking and watching like in a heist film. If I win, there will be little girls who might start to believe they have a place in the world. We're black. We're not going to be Ms. World. You don't own me. It's not you we're angry at. I look forward to having your choices in life. But it's all just flash bulbs in your face. Not so many flash bulbs for me. I don't want you to think I'm some kind of brute that doesn't consider the feelings of women. I consider feeling women all the time. Get this. Tonight may be the start of something, Bob. This competition makes us compete with each other and makes the world narrower for all of us in the end. Why should any woman have to earn her place in the world by looking a particular way? <laughs> you don't. He doesn't. Why should we?